Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hop on, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. So today, I am going to do another technique that I did a long time ago. I haven't done it in years. Um, one of the reasons is some of the products Stampin' Up! doesn't carry anymore. So I'm gonna show you not only the way we used to do it, because you probably got the items you need in your stash, but I'm also going to show you a little way to do it without the products that we used to use originally. Gives it a different look, but it's still pretty cool. Good morning, Fran. So again, hop on, tell me where you're from. A Couple of things I wanna remind you about. Um, the retired list is out there. Now, when you look at the retired list, it looks very, very large, okay? And it is, but remember one thing. That means all the outgoing products leave room for all those awesome new products. And I've already seen it. As a demonstrator, I can see the catalog early. And if you'd like to see the catalog early, join my team. Number one, I want you on my team. Number two, you get not only to look at the catalog now, online and get your free copy earlier um, you also get to pre-order next month okay for everyone else it's june 3rd you are going to be blown away it's great it's really great but you know it, it every year it's great so um but don't forget to look at the right now don't forget to look at the retired list things are already running out selling out some things are at 60 percent off so you really want to look at that retired list. If you can't find it, just go to my link, stampersdelight.com. Click on order now. It'll go to my stampersdelight.stampinup.net, which is my ordering system. And either place will have the retired list. If for some reason you can't find it, just email me, contact me. I will get it to you. Okay? So... I only see one person on. I don't know why. That's pretty bizarre. And I'm wondering if uh, it's because uh, Switcher did something different to my uh, Switcher Studio. So I'm hoping other people can see me. Let me just check something. Ah, there they are. Got me scared there for a minute. Anytime technology updates something, I get worried. All right, so we're going to get started, okay? So for today, what I chose was an old um, technique, uh, which is still a great technique called polished stone. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. You can see I got my magic mug, and of course my coffee's already getting cold because it's the mug's already turning black. If you'd like the magic mug, you can order that. It's pretty cool, actually. It's a great conversation piece. Go to uh, Little Shop of Gore and click on the, that's where you can order it from. Click on stampersdelight.com tab. And there's my logo merchandise. A couple people have already gotten that. I know, Vicki, your mug might be a little bit back ordered, not back ordered, but delayed because of shipping it to Canada. But okay, so let's go. Okay, so if you'd like to order this month, you can use my host code. There it is right here. And if it's more than $150, you don't want to use that. You want to use uh, yourself as the host so you get the host rewards point. And always just go to stampersdelight.com and you will find me. Unless Facebook blocks me again. <laughs> okay. So let me show you a couple of samples of the polished stone. Now for polished stone, what you're going to need is reinkers. I like to use three colors. Today I'll be showing you using Petal Pink, Rococo, Rose, and Flirty Flamingo. You'll need some. I know that there's different 60%, 80%. I don't see that it really matters. I know alcohol is uh, in high demand right now, right, for antiseptics and stuff. But And you're going to need some glossy paper. Now, I know we used to sell the glossy paper, and we don't have that anymore, Okay. But um, I'm sure you have some in your stash. <clears throat> Don't forget, I am going to show you, <coughs> excuse me, I am going to show you a way to do this on regular paper. The other thing you're going to need is one of our, 
this is golden glitz, but you can use any um, metallic reinker, silver, copper, whichever one you have in your stash. And again, we don't sell this anymore. So I'll show you a way to do it without that, which I think you'll like. It just gives it a totally different effect. Okay, so let me show you a few samples. Now, the samples are without, they're on the, the shiny paper, but they're without the um, gold glitz. Okay, so here's the first one. And you can see that polished look under here. Now, this is the stamp set Tropical Chic. And that is being retired. And so is this paper that's in the annual catalog. Yes, definitely share my videos because I'm going to share something with you at the end. Okay. So this is just a quick little thank you card I did using the Tropical Chic, tro Tropical Chic, however you want to say it, I say chic. Okay, now let me bring it up because when you do polished stone, you can dot it or you can swirl it, whichever you like. I wanted to swirl that one. Um, yeah, you could use uh, photo sheets for the printer because it's glossy. That would work. Any glossy paper. But remember, I'm going to show you a different way, too, in case you don't have glossy. Okay, so that's my first sample. And as always, I'll have some still shots. The next sample I have, or next couple of samples, I got carried away with this one, is my Silhouette Scenes. This one is not retiring, and I love this set. I just love, there's so much you can do with this set. So the first one I did was, again, and you'll see the way I do it, okay? This one I kind of just went up and down, up and down. There's no gold glitz in that. It's just three different blues. Uh, Balmy Blue, Night and Navy, and Pacific Point, okay? And you can see she's kind of, she's not flying in the sky there. That's kind of like her rope holding her. Okay. So this was just, uh, actually, this was the first one I did. <clears throat> the next one I did with that was actually the way the polished stone is supposed to look. You see those? See how this looks here? That's actually the way. It, I was just playing around with different ways to smush it or swirl it. So what I did, again, I used the silhouette scenes. I did the polished stone. Of course, I cut the middle out. And then I made that into this card. Now, because we always like to use up everything, that middle piece right here, I used on another card. That being right here. Same stamp set. Now, here's the middle piece to this one. Okay, that's where I cut it out, and you can see the polished stone, as they call it, as we call it, right here. And then in the background, I use the same colors, and instead of dotting it, and you'll see how you do the polished stone, I swirled it to give it a little bit of different effect. Oh, thank you. Yes, it makes great backgrounds. And then, of course, this is our embossing, our black embossing um, glitter, which is being retired. I thought that really brought it out. <clears throat> And this, again, is from the Silhouettes. This was uh, a, a die from another stamp set. You can use any any uh, die there. Yeah, I like the up and down and the swirl, too. That's why I, I wanted to try it. This one is the way we always do polished stone, but I wanted to do a little swirling. So we're going to do a little playing today. This one is not, there's nothing written in here because I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for. So those were the samples I originally did. Now let me show you some that I didn't finish because I was just playing around. Here's one again with the Tropical Chic. And you can see the polished stone back there. One thing I will tell you when you're stamping on glossy paper, you want to use your um, Stazon ink unless you're going to emboss it because otherwise it's just going to um, smear it's, and it's not going to dry. Okay, so that was another background I played around with. Here's one. Oh, I didn't show you the last one. Here's one with the Fanciful Fragrances, which I absolutely love this stamp set, and this also is being retired. So here's one that I tried. You can see this one came out pretty good. 
Here's another one. This was more of a swirl, but it kind of got too swirly. But I still like the background on it. Okay, here's one again, swirly background. And that one I had ink on it, so whoop, let me pull that off. I mean glue on it because I decided not to use it. Okay, that got stuck together, but we're just going to show you. I'm just showing you the backgrounds because I didn't use these. This is actually the way you're going to normally do the background. Okay. And then here's another one I did with the um, Fanciful Fragrances. Of course, I did the swirl again and then cut it up. Yes, we did all use glossy paper. We loved our glossy paper back in the day. Okay, so those are the way uh, using glossy paper. So I wasn't sure whether I was going to show you this first or not, but let me show you so you get the idea as we're going along. Okay, so this one is glossy paper <clears throat> with the golden glitz. Can you see that golden piece in there? I know you can see some ink on here, but that's not what I'm looking at. Look at this. Okay, there's the glossy paper with the gold glitz. That's the original way to do it. <clears throat> okay? But if you don't have, if you happen to have um, gold glitz or any gold um, pigment ink, you can use silver too, and you don't have glossy paper, well, here it is again with regular our whisper white now you can just barely see some of the gold but look at the effect it's totally different okay so you can see the difference but they get you got two different effects here and that's really what I wanted to show you the next one and I'm gonna show you how to do it I just I'm showing you the cards up front first this one is the same thing without the gold. So let's say you just have what your Whisper White and you have your reinkers, but you don't have glossy paper and you don't have gold. Third way to do it is this way. So you don't see any of the gold, but look how pretty that polished stone background is, even on Whisper White. So let me show you how I did this, okay? So the first way of doing it is, and I'm going to show you all three. This gold, what is gold glitz? Gold glitz was in the holiday catalog. It was our um, metallic ink. So any metallic ink. I have ones that were like, that are 10 years older. Okay. Okay, this was in our holiday catalog, but because it's no longer available, I want to show you the different ways to do it one with it in case you have it in your stash one without okay all right so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to bring in my reinkers and i'm going to bring this camera in a little bit okay just got to remember where to put the uh do this okay so the first thing now remember first one with the gold metallic ink Reinker, and with the glossy paper. Okay, I'm going to go ahead in the middle. This is the lightest one, so I want the lightest one in the middle. I'm going to put three dots. It doesn't matter. You can use two dots. I happen to use three. Then I'm going to use the flirty flamingo. Three dots. And then I'm going to use the Rococo Rose. For some reason, my Rococo Rose reinker is really thick. Okay. I am then going to put my alcohol on here. Saturate it, but don't have it dripping wet. Okay. Now, if you want, you can tap that on your paper first. Okay. But it will all blend together. See, because of the darker one. You're going to tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. All the way over here. Just tap. Look at that background. I go... Now, there's probably a lot of ways to do it out there. I do it this way first. 
Every background is going to be different. Okay. Now, and of course it still has to dry. Now I'm going to put a couple little dots. Don't put any more than two because this is a really thick ink. Okay. Just put maybe two dots right back on there. And what I do, and this is just the way I do it. Okay. I'm going to smush it down a little bit. You see how I don't want a lot of that. I just want a little. And then I'm going to go back in and dot it again. You don't want the gold to overtake the card, but you want some gold in there. This is the way you do it if you have all the supplies. Again, we don't sell that, so you need to get, go into your stash. And I know you all have stash. Okay, you're going to let that dry. What you can also do, because this is pigment ink, it will take a while to dry. You can also just cover it with um, clear embossing folder, uh, embossing powder, okay? It will dry eventually because of the alcohol. Because of the alcohol. So I'm just going to smoosh some of that. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Let me bring it up close. I'm going to put that one there. Okay, so now that I have it on here, I'm going to show you what I did with the swirling. Just because I had this already on here, I decided to swirl. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, there's not enough dark on here, but I can add more. And I just swirled it. So let's add a little more dark, too much light. And it, the only reason I did this was because I had ink still on here and I didn't want to waste it. The polished stone is this one. Okay. I just got ink all over my arm. Okay. And let's go back in here with some. So play around with it, and you get different backgrounds. But again, the polished stone is the first way I showed you. And put a little more on there, and then just swirl. See? Okay. So you can swirl it. Now you got light and dark. And then you can go back in there and put some gold in there. Anybody tired of seeing the, the techniques yet? Okay. And then let me just swirl some of that gold in there. This one, you can see just the, see the gold. I don't know if you can see it that way. So that's a swirly one. And then if you really want to, <laughs> the other way I did it was I just went like this and did some streaks. just to make some other backgrounds. See the streaks there. And then I would go back in with the gold and streak that. I've got more techniques to show you. I might have to do those on whatever Wednesdays if I continue those. <laughs> I'll be on here every day with you. Anybody mind that? <laughs> okay. So there you have it with the streaks. You loving the techniques? Okay. Well, then I guess I will come back Wednesday for whatever Wednesday with another technique. How's that? But I'll be back on Sunday night, my usual time. Okay. So these are just some different ways to do it. This is actually the polished stone. Okay, so you see that's dry. And because of the gold glitz, what you can do once it dries is you want to get some of that gold off there that didn't dry so you can just go over it with another um, cotton ball. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, you need cotton balls, but I think you saw that. Okay, so that's how you can do the different um, backgrounds, but this is actually the technique. Okay. So that's the one with, if you have everything. Now we're going to get rid of that because I need to start fresh. Now let's bring in two more pieces because remember I'm showing you three different ways. Okay. So you have um, the glossy paper hidden in your closet somewhere and you have um, some kind of metallic ink. That's the way you would do it. Now let's say you don't have the glossy paper, but you have the metallic ink. 
I'm not going to worry about that. It'll get on the back anyway. You're going to do it the same way, but it's going to look totally different because it's not on metallic or it's not on glossy paper. Three of this. Three of that. Three of that. And whoop. some alcohol. I like to dot it here first to mix it up. Okay, now remember, this isn't glossy. But look it. It does absorb into the paper, and you are going to have to wait till that paper dries before you ink on it, you stamp on it. Look at that background. Still looks like the polished stone. It's just not shiny. What a great background, huh? Now you see the, the paper is starting to curl, but that's because it's getting wet. But the alcohol will dry. Okay. So now we got some white in there, so we want to add some of your metallic ink, whatever one you're using. We can sw swish it a little bit here, okay, just to move that around. And if you don't have enough gold in there, you can re you know, add a little more. So there's the one without the polished look. Still looks great. Two different effects. You see the, two, the difference? But what great backgrounds, huh? Okay, now let's say you don't have the glossy paper and you don't have metallic reinker. All right, let's try that one. <clears throat> let's get out a piece of regular very vanilla, I've uh, whisper white, and do the same thing. We're gonna put the flirty flamingo. We're gonna put the again. I like to put my light color in the middle of the two dark ones, but you can do it any way you want. And then I'm gonna add the drops of alcohol to mix it together. I like to blot it first and then you could turn this around and get some other color, you know, instead of the same color like light dark, light dark. And just, just keep doing that till maybe your alcohol in your cotton ball wears out. <laughs> there we go. Now you have same thing without the gold. But th the petal pink almost makes it look like a gold, doesn't it? See, this one's shinier and this one's not. You definitely could put Wink of Stella on it to make it shine. Matter of fact, let's see. Do I have my Wink of Stella right here? Probably not. It should be. Um, I don't have my Wink of Stella right here. But, yeah, you could add Wink of Stella. Why not? That dries quick. <clears throat> I don't know that it would... Dr I guess you could try to droplet, put droplets on there. Okay, I'm letting this dry. I'm putting closing up these things first. What, what kind of alcohol? It really doesn't matter. I don't know what this one is because this isn't even in an alcohol jaw bottle. I think it's at least 50%, um, 50, 70, whichever one you have. Okay, I think they run 50, 60, and 70. So there's the three different effects with the gold, with the gold glitz or any um, glittery pigment ink and glossy paper. This one is with the... the um, pigment ink, the, the glittery pink 
what is that? It's not glittery. It's, well, it's called gold and glitz, but metallic ink on regular. And this is just uh, whisper white with no metallic. So they have, you have different ones. Okay. So I'm going to just move this off because I do have some, I still have time. Let me get that out of the way. And then what I'm going to do, because these are pretty dry now. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Stamparatus. Which way do I want to use this? I guess I'll use it that way. And I am going to... Let me bring this out a bit so you can see it. There we go. Maybe not that far. Okay. I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus. I don't want this in the corner. I'm going to turn that around. So I'm going to put this right in the corner. Put that right there. This is going to go right here. Make sure I have enough room. I don't want it up and down. Okay. That should be good. Maybe I'll put it over here. I have another one. There it is. Okay. All right. So let's see. It's going to go right here. That's where I want it. Okay. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my stays on. Remember, you want to use stays on because this is glossy. Thinking that up. Sorry for the shake in the table. I actually don't need this mat. I was wondering why it was so thick. Let's see if I can move this without messing this up. I don't really think I need that. It's too thick. I'm going to try it without it. And then I don't think it's going to close, but let's see. Yeah, it does. All right. I'm going to ink this up again. And press really good. This is what I like about the Stamparatus. You need one of these because then you can, if it didn't come out right the first time, you can do it a second time. Okay, let's move that out of the way. All right, then I'm going to bring in the one with the gold glitz on regular paper. Just, you know what? I'm putting that back. I want it there. <laughs> I can't make up my mind whether I want the extra cushion there or not. Okay. And I do. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Gail. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Megan. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry if I missed anybody else, but I will acknowledge you afterwards. Okay. I'm going to press that down. And you see that, again, this has a totally different look. But you'll see that in a second. This one I cut down. Okay, so there's the third one. And then we have the one without the gold glitz on regular paper. And press that down. Does the red rubber stamps work better with glossy paper? Um, it's a different effect. It's a totally different effect. Um... The red rubber works with regular, um, either one, okay? So that's this one. This one I didn't come out as good. It came out a little blurry, so we're not going to use that one. We're going to supplement that one with the one I already cut. So there's the three that you have. Again, with all three items I told you about, uh, pigment, glittery pigment ink, whatever the heck that's. Met metallic ink and glossy paper. Metallic ink on regular paper. No metallic ink on regular paper. But if you look at the three of these, they have a totally different effect, okay? And they still look nice. So I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and trim these. Now, I already got some pieces cut here. So 
I've got three pieces of Rococo rose, and I'm just going to line those up to fit. Okay, so I already did this one, just a little, little bit there. So let's see what size I did that at. That's two and a half by four and three quarters. So let's see, two and a half. Okay, I'm going to have to trim on each side here. I want to make this two and a half. Eh, maybe a little bit bigger. I don't want to cut off my flower. My four and a quarter, maybe. I'm just trimming to make that fit on that piece of Rococo rose. I need to take off some on the bottom. And sometimes I, that's all I do. I don't really know how much I want to take off until I'm done. So let's see. Take off just a smidge there. There we go. So it fits on there. Okay, and this one's going to go on here. And then the third one. So we're going to trim some of this away. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, just, <clears throat> just cut part of the leaf off, but you get the idea. Still looks nice. Let's see if that's big enough. Nope, still got to trim a little bit more. Okay, I just want this to, I want to layer this on here. Okay, there we go. Okay, move that out of the way. Okay, so here's my three different ones. And remember, I will put, I will make still shots. Okay. And I know I keep saying it just so you know which one's which. This is the one on the glossy paper, if you have it, with the gold glitz. Any metallic ink will do, silver, copper. That's this one. This one is the one with the gold glitz or metallic ink on regular paper. And it's dry enough now to mount onto my background. And then this one has no gold, just the stone effect. Can't call it polished, I guess, because it's not on gla glossy paper. There's the three different ones. Yes, you could definitely do it as a die cut. It would be gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to bring in... <clears throat> This is our Parisian embossing folder. I'm going to go ahead and that one's out. Um, I think I said this in the beginning, but maybe I didn't. That I don't want. Where's my other one? I'll change this. Uh, don't get nervous when you see the blends on the retired list. They are being repackaged. They are not being discontinued. So you won't be able to buy them as singles. You will only be able to buy them as doubles. Combo pack. Which, let's face it, that's usually how we order them, right? But if you, one of your light colors has dried out, you want to get the light colors now. Because in the new catalog, you'll only be able to get them as combos. The other thing is, right here, the snail. You'll see the snail is being retired. Trust Stampin' Up, and trust me, they will have something coming out that you will like, okay? This one I glued right down. These two I'm not going to. I'm going to bring in some dimensionals. I'm going to add some dimensionals here. Each corner. I'm going to do them, each one a little different. Well, at least those two I am. Just watching the time here. Hopefully I get to finish them. But they're going to look the same as the ones I, my samples, which I don't usually show you ahead of time. Okay. So then I'm going to bring in my ribbon, which is this beautiful petal pink ribbon. For this, I'm going to go ahead... And oh, I usually don't do it this way, but we're going to do it this way today. I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to tie this right here, make a little bow. I'm not going to fuss too much with the bows because I really, oh, that's right. I'm on the late shift today. I got time. 
I'm going to just tie that. Slide that over a little bit because I want it right on the edge. The thing I like about this ribbon is you can leave it as large as you want because it's so soft. Okay. I'll wait till I'm done with this. Then I'm going to take this one. Come on. Okay, so don't forget I'll be back on Sunday night. 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Get those orders in. Thank you to everybody who's already ordered. And I know some things are already sold out. So we're going to fix this. Gently, because I have it in there crooked. It's very hard for me to see. Like I said before, I'm a stand-up stamper. So when I'm sitting, sometimes it's hard for me. I got one last piece of this dimensional so let me make sure I got this on right this time there we go okay that's that one bring this one in grab some of that ribbon again go ahead and tie that Oh, thank you so much, Matthew. We and we really appreciate you and everyone that shares our videos. He said Donna and I are amazing. I really do appreciate everything that you uh, do for me, sharing my videos, leaving me your comments. I couldn't do this without all of you. So thank you. And I hope everyone's staying well. I know it's very hard to stay in, but I hope everyone is well. It will be worth it the effort of staying home so that everybody gets, um, we get rid of this nasty disease. Okay. And I don't want to see any of you sick. So please stay in, stay crafting. Okay. Let me take this one off and this one. So what are your plans for the weekend? I'm going to be trimming my hair again <laughs> and I'm going to be trying to do my own nails <laughs> in between stamping, of course. We do what we have to do. It's all worth it if we're safe and we're healthy, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just put that one down. Okay, so there's the three. I am going to put ribbon on that one. Now I'm going to layer it up again. I did show my samples in the beginning, only because I, they, I just had to show them to you so that you got the idea. Okay, and again, we're using Petal Pink and Rococo Rose. So that's going to go right there. This one's going to go right here. Yeah, I know, Matthew. Everybody's been cooped up. I, I, I'm one of those weird people, I guess. I love staying home. <laughs> but, you know, the what happens is if I could go out, I'd be like, nah, I don't feel like it. But when you're told you can't go out, then it's like, oh, I want to go out. I want to do something. My cousin and I were laughing, saying the first thing we're going to do is hit the casino when this is all over. <laughs> okay, so there's my three pieces. Now, this one I am going to add ribbon to, but I'm going to do that afterwards, I think. I'll do it now. I'm going to put this one right here. I'm going to go over the flower just to give it a little different look. So this one I'm going to do this way. Let's move that out of the way. So again, remember, this is polished stone, and years ago this is the way we did it with the glossy paper and the metallic ink. But if you don't have that, now you can do it and get almost the same effect. And I, I, I'm going to grab some Wink Estella. Maybe I will add that to that one and just see how it comes, comes uh, out when we're done. Okay, I'm not going to play around with this bow because I really want to finish the cards. <laughs> you know, really, this no matter how you tie this ribbon, the bows come out fine. There's the three different ones. I'm going to layer those up on some thick Whisper White cardstock. You're going to want to share my video, please. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do at the end of this. 
you already know it's a giveaway. Unfortunately, it can only be a giveaway in, in the U.S., so if you share my videos and I pick your name, I won't be able to send you what I have here, but I will send you a card. So when you share it, let me also know what country you're in, although I think I know most of you. Oh, cracked another nail. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and snail this down. I use a lot of snail because sometimes it comes apart. Hint, hint, if you get that hint. Okay. All right. Going to layer this one on here. Thank you, Matthew. Layer that one right on there. I think next week I'm going to make my husband actually go in the post office and get some of these over the seas cards out and to Canada. Okay. There's my three cards. I have three different labels or uh, sentiment uh, dies already done. Actually, I have four. Let's see which one I'm going to use. And I'm going to go ahead and ink those up with Rococo Rose, which should be around here somewhere. Just have to find it. Did I bring it over? I know it's here. I'm probably looking right at it, right? If I am, I'm blind because I can't find it. It's all right. Let me turn around and grab another one. <coughs> all right. So this says you mean so much to me. That will fit on this die that's already cut. This one says the same. It's the same stamp. Let's see. Will it fit on here? I'm going to try it. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal. It does, but I didn't like the way that one came out. So let's do it again. There we go. Too small for this one. So let's go in here and grab friend. What time we got. Okay. Let's just grab friend here. And of course, this is forever. The, I forgot to tell you, this is the forever bloom set. Of course, you know, I'll put that on there later. Let me make sure I got that straight. Okay, and we'll put friend right here. There we go. Okay. Won't use that one. Let me grab some more dimensionals. Ran out of dimensionals, so let me just grab some. Oh, yeah, you can't post anything to Canada. I know it's 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 very hard. And like I said, to have my husband actually go in the post office and up to the window, I just really don't want him to do that right now. Right now, we just either have them pick up the mail that, or, or um, he just drops off the bag. And to print it out at home, for some reason, with the program I have, it's charging me like $3 to send a card overseas and I know it's not that much so okay this one is going to go right here this one is going to go I need a bigger one for right here I'm going to do it this way I'm going to put two more on on this right here because this one's got to go over the ribbon so you really want to make sure that you have enough dimensionals on there. This one I'm going to put right here. Okay. And if it doesn't stay down, you can always put a little snail under there to hold that ribbon in place. And this cute little tiny one is going to go right here. So I got three cards, all different. You know what's missing though, right? The bling. I'm going to bring in my noble peacock and I'm going to add some rhinestones. Large one there, small one here. Just add them wherever I feel like it. 
This one I'm going to add a few more here. There we go. And how about this one? Uh, let's see. Large one there. Small one there. Small one here. Okay. So there we have the three different cards. I'm not going to do the insides because I'm running out of time. Okay. Again, this is the polished stone with the glossy paper and the um, metallic ink. This is the metallic ink without the glossy paper. And this is just our Whisper White with our re-inkers and the alcohol. You have three different cards, three different ways to do the polished stone. My interpretation of the polished stone, since we don't have the glossy paper. And again, here's the two I had done originally. So you see that I have those samples. Um, let me bring in the other cards. This was the one I did with the swirl, swirling effect. This is, this is the real polished stone as we knew it way back when without the gold. Here's some more cards. And then there's this one. So that's the polished stone. All right, so let me just move these out of the way. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a giveaway, and I'll announce who gets who gets it uh, either later. Well, I'll do it. I'll announce it on Sunday. This is what I'm giving away. If you share my videos, I'll pick one name who shared my videos. Now, when I say share, <clears throat> that's on Facebook Live and when I upload it to YouTube. So there's a, quite a few names in there. Are you ready to see what it is? Whoever shares my video, one lucky person is going to get the little ladybug celebration host set. Okay? So definitely share my videos. Now, you have to tell me you're in the U.S. to get that, obviously. But for anyone that's outside of the U.S., if I pick your name, I'm going to give you, I'm going to send you one of these cards. Okay. You can share it on Messenger, share it wherever you want. Just let me know you shared it cuz I only see, I can see who shares it real actually shares it on Facebook. Okay? I'm not sure I can see who shares it. Oh, yeah, on Messenger I think I can. Anywhere. I trust you. Just tell me you shared it. So, again, I maybe I'll pick a couple of names for these cards. Okay? But again, the stamp set has to go in the United States, and the cards can be anywhere, okay? Yes, a great prize. This is a great prize. This is a great set. Even if you don't have the uh, the uh, product coordination dies for these, this is a great stamp set. So definitely share my videos. I thank you all so much for tuning in and watching me today. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will be back here Sunday night at 7 7 o'clock, I almost said 7.30. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And again, please stay well. And I will see you back here Sunday. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.